Hey friends, it's Shauna from GlitterGiftsAndMore.com. I had someone comment on one of my reels asking me to do a tutorial for this tumbler. It's super easy, super quick, so we just threw one together. I'm starting with a prepped and half spray painted uh, 20 ounce modern curve tumbler. I only need that top half spray painted because that is where the iridescent glitter is going to go. The bottom glitter is going to be opaque, so there was no need to paint the bottom. We're using the epoxy method with this. I have a thin layer of epoxy on there. And I'm doing barely blush for the top layer, um, I'm sorry, the top half glitter. And that is a custom mix, super pale pink um, glitter. Like I said, it is iridescent, so you're gonna want a base color on there before you put it on. Once we get nice coverage on that, I'm not worrying so much about the middle part of that tumbler, but once we get good coverage on the top, we're gonna add the next glitter which is a custom mix glitter called Passion Pink. Passion Pink is amazing. I think it's one of my favorite glitters to use right now. It has super fine glitter, it has some chunky glitter, it has some color shift in there, and it is absolutely stunning. Um, and this is my most popular cup at the moment. So we get good coverage on the bottom. Once we get that first layer of glitter on there, I just let it soak into the epoxy a little bit, clean up my mess. And I am gonna go right back in to do a second layer of glitter, but we're not adding anything to it. We're just doing the second layer of glitter on top of whatever epoxy may have soaked through that first layer of glitter. And I go right back in with my Barely Blush, and I am going all the way down into where Passion Pink is to kind of fill in the nooks and crannies that might be showing. And then this time I took the lid off of my shaker for Passion Pink just to get nice good coverage in there and I tilt the cup down to make sure it falls in to create that ombre. And then I take my gloved hand and I just pat that down. Those chunky pieces can be a booger if we don't pat those down. You can use a wax paper. I know a lot of people use wax paper to get those pieces to fall flat. Once we're done with that, I take my tape off. I start my epoxy. I do um, two layers of epoxy before I do my decal, and for the decal, that is a pink holographic. I'll have that linked in the comments if you are interested in it. All of the glitter is available at glittergiftsandmore.com, and once again, it is barely blushed for the top and passion pink for the bottom. Super quick, easy cup to do, but absolutely stunning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.